and you've been in Japan quickly, I think, right? Yeah, very quickly. But it's even if you go for a little bit, I think it's like it's it's very like I think people are very fascinated. It's such a different culture. Um, and there's some real beauty to it, of course. But ultimately, we're there because the culture is mm-hmm. terrible. I mean, that's why missionaries go, right? Is because actually, you know, people are always like, "Oh, Japanese culture," but you know, I think it makes you very ineffective to think that way, mm. in the sense that. God's there to bring his culture. There's something here going on. There's For never culture, culture based on yeah. just like uh, You would say that about any culture. Any like culture. you're not you're not just picking on Japan. No. Like you'd Listen say Listen Americans, like I'm saying about God's culture, culture versus any that's right. culture that culture. is not yeah. kingdom, kingdom culture, culture is not pleasing to God and it's not going to bring life. There's aspects that are like God's nature and beautiful because they reflect how beautiful right. Jesus yeah. is. Um, but it can be such a a tripping point for missionaries that get intrigued and fascinated with the culture that they're mm-hmm. in wherever, whether it's African culture that's beautiful or right. a piece of Asian culture or Brazil, South American, there are beautiful pieces of every culture. But if we're not like a hundred percent aimed at like, even this beautiful part, is it actually the kingdom mm-hmm. culture? Cause that's, right. and that's where even in our missionary like community and when we're building, we'll have people from all different nations and, you know, there's some of the nations, but we all are going to come in thinking, well, this is the right way, yeah. naturally, you know. And so that's where we we always want to point it to kingdom culture. Oh, it's yeah. not the American way. It's not the Brazilian or the Japanese way. Like, what's actually kingdom culture? Yeah. yeah. So. And, and for instance, there's not a lot of crime in Japan. It's one of the safest places. Our kids go on the train and bus every day to school. It's a 40-minute 40 40 commute every, you know, each way. And they right. do that themselves. Some I would never usually let them do in Brazil. Right, right, right. You know, um, and it's still, you know, some people are probably like, oh, it's uneasy. But actually four or five-year-olds go alone. Yeah. In in these little school, yellow school hats. And, you know, it's safe. Now, it's not like there's no crime. But, like, compared to everywhere else, like, right. it's, and, and I think people go, wow, you know. But we have to look at, like, if it's not based on, God, where is it, where is it coming from? Why, why are people not stealing? Right, something's on the on the floor in Japan. Usually, you'll find you drop something. You'll find it up on a little ledge next to wherever it was mm. a day later. That's you know, I've never we've never actually lost anything in Japan. We've left things, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, it's very normal. But it's actually usually it would come from a place of just a. It's a very uh, strong culture, very oppressive in, in shame. Right, so you know, you know, shame culture, and so it's not really like oh, I want to do good. It's like I, need, I should do good because otherwise. I'll be shamed, right? Like, how mm-hmm. can I do this? And so, you know, you don't talk on the train. It's not like a written rule. You know, it's just that it's inconveniencing everybody else by you talking loud. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's not. It's not a rule. There's no. You're not going to say like, it's like don't talk on your cell phone on trains, or you know, that'll say for mostly for the foreigners, it'll have those announcements. But in general, you just don't do anything that would inconvenience somebody else because you could. That would bring shame. Yeah. And so, it's it's looking at the culture. Yeah, that's beautiful. No crime. That's great. But where is this coming from? Where what's the heart behind this? What does God want to do in this? Not not that He wants people to commit crimes. That's right. not the point. But also, there's this kind of oppressive thing happening. I think it happens in a lot of cultures. So, like you said, it's, it's, every culture has things. Um, but it's something that we're really just pr- always praying, and we want to see because I think the Japanese are a passionate people. Yep. Mm. They, and so that's kind of been muted in them, and there's not a lot of expression. So actually, a ton of Japanese youth, they want to move out. They don't want yeah. to be in Japan. Be, and that's why English is growing. Like, the need for English in Japan is growing, and we're, gonna, you know, we're planning on doing those programs to reach kids. And, but it's because they don't see a future in Japan. And yeah. they see movies, and they see even Korean drama where they're passionate, and they're excited, and they go, that's not my reality. I don't hmm. get to speak what I feel. Yeah, And so... Um, you know, we are praying for breakthrough, and I think God's doing it. It's not, it's not just us being 